Oh, well, I arrived maybe 10 days ago. I've been here before. I've always dreamed about coming to Iceland, but I, now the dream is fulfilled. And now the dream is melting. Uh, now the delusion sets in, and kind of the mythology of the place always uh, dissolves away when you start to meet the people who are as uh, de deluded as I am. But it's good to be among a place where culture is uh, at least uh, propagated and talked about and uh, practiced in a, in a good way. It's a civilized place because there's only 170,000 people or so in the city. It's about the limits of growth. But there's also a bit of delusion in the fact that people live in a kind of geographic paradise, but they're not looking after it very well. So that's uh, always a kind of contradiction. Yeah, I was talking to a, a renowned kind of film critic and manager of the bio of uh, Paradiso uh, uh, Cinemas here. Uh, it was more a monologue and rant about uh, democratic media and terminology and how we have to reframe uh, the lexicon for uh, digital culture and digital media and what I call now media and uh, doc media, the documentary fact-based, uh, non-fiction-based uh, media. And the, I guess the lessons we can learn from each other as we cross-pollinate and go to kind of trans-cultural, uh, trans-media uh, dialectics now become trialectics and dialogue becomes multilog and and there's a lot of uh, playing with words but it's, it's all based on I think a certain reality and I'm in the reality business as a documentary filmmaker uh, it's it's promising to be in a room where the discussion uh, is about the electronic fireplace and and uh, dreams but also some pretty practical uh, ideas concretized on economics and, and policy and these issues that are it's, it's really good to expose yourself to worlds you're not familiar with or haven't heard or haven't uh, been involved with under the same kind of tent and, uh, and discuss with uh, others the uh, the way that these ideas teach each other I'm a big fan of of uh, of uh, Mandala, the prisoner, with many others at Robben Island in South Africa for 25 years. And uh, Mandala t t tells us or taught us that each one should teach one. So there's a bit of that here. So we listen to each other and are teaching each other and, and uh, also on the receiving end of information and education. So I like these kinds of things. It's uh, it's good to be uh, to dissolve boundaries and barriers and walls between the, uh, the the hierarchies of media divisions, which are all false. Well, I think documentary is sort of uh, finding its place now in kind of the economic uh, 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 consumption of images uh, in that uh, in cinemas now and uh, across the web and bit torrents. Uh, because people are yearning for uh, crash courses of understanding about like the fragmentary nature and the dissolution of the of the world economy and uh, all the horrors that are going on, and we're not getting any kind of truth out of mainstream media. So, we, so we start to trust uh, those with opinions that are informed opinions and uh, informed by reality. Uh, and so, documentary. Uh, um, people tend to be uh, motivated by a connection to the people and the uh, subjects as well that are of interest to the people without the filters of uh, propaganda uh, and, uh, and, uh, and vested interest that the mainstream is. So we're into kind of truth-telling instead of lie-telling and this is why the bigger and bigger populations are gravitating towards documentary content rather than uh, the Brad Pitt uh, circuses. Let you